we're going to use the Power Probe 4 for fuel injector testing. To do that, we're going to have to go to the mode select and press it to get the menu. Use the up and down arrows to scroll until you find the fuel injector test. Press the mode when you've done that, and now we're ready to hook up the vehicle. Hook to the control side of the injector and start the engine. Now you're going to watch the data live. Let's look what we got here. First of all, the thing that grabs is the blinking lights. They're inj inj indicating injector activity. Let's see what we've learned from the data. Comparing it to a lab scope. First, we have inductive kick. This is important because inductive kick will be low if we have shorted injectors. That's very important. Then we look down and we see we've got normal charging system voltage. That's also important. Then good computer ground. That's also important. And now we're watching the data live on the fuel injectors. Let's go back and do that test drive again. This time I want you to watch it carefully as we're going to be going right over the throttle, then we're going to decelerate. We just took our foot off the accelerator and then we're coming down. Now what did we learn in less than a minute and a half? First, we know where the injector pulse width and we know that the PCM ground is good. We know the inductive kick is good because we compared it to other cylinders and the charging system is normal. All these things we normally have to use a lab scope to find, we found in just a few minutes, one simple hookup. Now we don't want to leave anything out because there's a possibly bad driver, so we can check the PCM driver by using the driver test.